All right, hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, a matrix, but it's a way to kick up your matrix and make your matrix uh, a more exciting, stronger effect. Uh, I have here four half dollars. You can use half dollars or quarters. Uh, so this is the secret I'm going to explain. Okay, uh, the setup is on top of the deck. You have uh, ace, king, ace, king, ace, king. The aces and kings interlaced, okay, beginning with the ace. And you're going to start off, you're going to do some false uh, shuffles, just do an overhand, uh, overhand shuffle, okay. And then you can uh, cut the deck uh, to the break or right, bring it back to the top. Do some false shuffles and cuts, then when you're ready to begin, you say, look, um, give the deck a cut, just do a false cut. And then you're going to uh, do a, a double lift here, okay, as you're talking, or you can do a pinky count, and you'll do your favorite double lift. I just use this one. I show king, okay? I set that down, okay? So I sit down one, then I'll give it a, a slip cut to bury that, that one in the middle, okay? See, so you're burying that king in the middle. And usually I like to bury it so it's out of sight a little bit further down. So you give it a, another cut, and then you can go to uh, the second king, okay? Then uh, you do that again. Just do uh, your favorite double lift. You can do this move, which is uh, Larry Jennings' uh, pop double, which I'll show you in just a second here. Okay? Do a slip cut. The Larry Jennings, uh, your thumb just thumb counts too. Put your first finger in here, and then you're going to snap it over to the double, okay? So it's a nice way to do that. So what you've done is you've given the deck some cuts and things like that and you get rid of the deck and you set it off to the side and what you've done is you've they think you're working with the kings and then you go into the matrix and then you're going to be able to change it into the aces at the end. So um, you do your favorite matrix uh, movement. I'll just show you a simple movement here. You're going to cover this corner, okay? Now, as you cover this corner, of course, these two fingers, your uh, ring finger and thumb, are going to steal this coin back, okay? It's very done very simply, like so, okay? As you set this one down, so that will be right underneath here, right? You then take this one, and you come over here, and you set this one down. You're setting the, the coin there, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm teaching it. Setting it down, and so they think that you have four coins under there. This is a simple matrix. I'm going to show you some touches in the matrix. Okay, First move, you're going to show uh, the outer corners by with your left hand snapping that up. Okay, that's What that's going to do is it's going to reiterate that you have uh, two coins there. Okay, Now you're going to set this back down. Of course you're hiding the one here, right? Set that back down. Now, your hands are completely empty. You're making a gesture. You're showing your hands empty without saying, look, my hands are empty, and you do that in a gesture. Okay, Take one out. Okay, So now you're going to show this guy here that this one has gone across. Okay, The way you do that is your thumb is going to pick up on your right side over here. Okay, But what I do is I do a flip move here. This is a move from uh, Ken Quinzel, which I'm going to teach in this video. Okay, And let me show you that, how clean that is. Okay, This one is here, right? You just showed that there was two by picking up the one side, right? You showed these, okay. Now, you set it back down. You make the first one go invisibly. You go, can you see it? Look, it's invisible. And you toss it across like this. You make tossing motions. Okay, showing your hands empty. Now, as you pick this up, what's going to happen here is as you bend from an exposed angle, see, this is going to snap around to the back. So you'd be holding it like this. Okay, and what's that for? I'll show you why. Because you're going to show these, you show that they changed into the aces. Okay, that's the first surprise, because you go, look, they were kings. And then the second surprise, as you come here, see this is hidden behind the coin? You're going to take this, and it's very, very clean. As you turn this over, you're going to transfer that. Okay, so you're just tapping those together. So you've transferred that to here. Okay, there's a lot of subtleties in here. Okay, you set that down as you show the first change of the aces. Now you're going to show the next one over here. You're going to pick up this one, okay? You're going to pick up one with your 
Uh, you're going to pick up the cards the same way. You're going to snap them. You're going to do the snap pickup, okay? You're going to show these two are here. This is hidden behind, right? This is done very cleanly. As you set this down, this one's going to be here, so there's three. Now you're going to make uh, a vanish here. Now, the vanish that I wanted to use here is uh, I put it in the hand and I do this little faint for magicians because they think that uh, you didn't put it in your hand. So I show the card on both sides. This is a little bit magician y, but it's really not. Uh, you're going to show that it's still there, okay? You say, oh, you forgot to blow on the coin, okay? So you say, uh, you say, here's the card, and uh, you set this one down over here, right? And you show, as you pick this up, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to do the move, you're going to repeat, and that's going to be because it's going to flip off of your finger. So let me show you that move from the exposed view, from the side. As you pick it up, it's going to go off your middle, your middle finger clipped between your fingers. So that will show cleanly that there's only two. Now, what I do at this point is I show this, and they know the coin is there, okay? They, you can show it again. But now what happens is uh, you're going to clip this back here, and you're going to do that as you flip this around, okay? There's a lot of movements, but you've got this thing clipped, right? What you're going to do is you're going to flip this around, okay, using this movement. There's a lot of different movements. I'm just going to show you a really clean one. This is in finger palm down here, right? You're going to flip this around. Now, you can, uh, when you flip it around, you can hold it in this position so that your hands can be shown empty here, or your fingers here. This is clipped back here because they think the coin is still in the hand, right? But what you do is as you make a gesture, you're going to steal this back. Now, it seems like a lot, but it's not because it's going to be really, really clean. It's just going to look like you're waving here as you say blow. Now, they blow on your hand, okay? Nothing happens yet. You go, uh, you set these down. Now, I'm doing a Ed Marlowe movement, my mentor's mentor here, so homage to him. I'm holding two coins behind now, right? Now, this is very clean because you've got the final load there, right? You set those down very quietly. Now, they still think you have a coin here. They, they blow on the hand. They think it's there. So you're going to pretend to take the coin. You're going to pretend to shrink it. Or you could just open your hand and vanish it, but I like to shrink it down into to keeping keeping sequence with that. Now, they think that the, the nice part is you're so far ahead. You know, all of magic is one ahead, even when you're behind your head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to repeat the movement of Ken Krenzel. As, as I come over, I'm going to show that there's three there, but really there's four, right? And that's going to use this movement that I already taught you, which is like that, see? And what that's going to do is I'm going to show there's three. I've still got the one behind here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around, right? Using this movement. This is finger palm. We're going to use this movement again. We're just going to flip it around. And you could show this, but you don't need to, right? This is, this is just showing all the moves that you can do with this. I'm not trying to show you all the moves. I'm trying to show you a new way to do the matrix, okay? There's many ways. Now here's for the last one, okay? I'm going to pick this up. Now this is a movement from Daryl Martinez, so homage to Daryl, uh, God rest his soul. But uh, this is one of his moves that I, I use, and he showed this to me at a magic convention a uh, long, long time ago. And they think the last coin is here, and it's not. So what you have to do is you're going to pick this up, and there's three there, right? You've got the one behind. So what happens is when you set this down, this, see, this never came off the table, it just came up, right? So that will look like this. There's, and they're like, and there's like, but not yet, not till you snap your fingers. So you get them involved, you have them snap their fingers, or have them remove it invisibly, however you're going to present it. And then you have them turn over the card for the last one. You say, look, and that was a king, this is an ace. So there's a double kicker in here in that these were the kings changes into the aces. And then, of course, you've got the, the four aces, and you reveal the last one. So it seems like a lot, and I know that's a lot of movements, but I wanted to give you a nice updated version of the, uh, the Matrix. So if you like, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, go to ProMagic, uh, my website, ProMagicArt.com, and find out more. I have the premium levels where I go into a lot more detail in not only Matrixes, but like in every kind of uh, effects, cards, coins, mentalism, all kinds of things. So thank you very much. Enjoy.